So how do you hire the right employees for your small business? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step process you can use to land the perfect employees for your business. Hey, I'm Dr. Ryan Court, and this is Ryan Reflex. On this channel, I share with you actionable personal development content, as well as my thoughts on trending topics and common life experiences. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also throw out any point in the video, make sure you check out the notes and links in the description below. Small businesses across the country are struggling. Hiring the right employees has been a significant challenge as of late. So if you're struggling, if you're finding this is a really tough thing to do, guess what? You are not alone. Here are 12 steps that I use to hire the perfect employees for my small business. First, craft a well-written job description. To attract the right people to your small business to work for you, you have to have a strong job description. Doing so outlines expectations and helps them truly understand what are they getting involved in, what are they interviewing for if they're going to join your team. Next, research appropriate compensation and benefits packages. Most small businesses can't afford to provide their employees with a comprehensive benefit package. With this in mind, it's in your best interest to do some research and find out what makes you competitive from an hourly rate perspective as well as some of the part-time benefits that you can provide your employees so do a google search check out indeed look at other listings but do whatever you can to make sure that your compensation package is competitive next post on the most popular job boards and social media channels Personally, Indeed and Facebook are my favorite free job board options, but there are a ton of paid options out there. Just make sure you set aside a budget because they can get quite expensive. Also look into industry specific as well as regional or very local job boards. A lot of those are free or at a low cost and can be very effective. Message candidates introductory questions. As candidates apply, send them introductory questions to kind of weed out the candidates that uh, you even want to talk to over the phone. In fact, the vast majority of people won't even apply to those questions. The ones that do, you can identify, hey, what is their commute going to look like? What are they looking for from a compensation perspective? Can you afford them? Certain deal breakers are things that can be identified through just simple messaging through these job platforms. Next, Google candidates before you contact them. What would we do without Google? Honestly, and it, this is no different when it comes to finding the right people to work in your small business. Take the time to put their name into Google, maybe even their name plus the city that they live in or the city that your business is in and find out whatever information you can. Social media channels are a great way to learn more about people if they're public. There's also a lot of content there out there, whether people like it or not, on them in particular, and you can go ahead and sort through that information. Next, conduct a phone interview. Phone interviews are a fantastic way to further talk to a candidate about a number of different things that are on your mind, ask them questions, and hey, see if they even show up for the time that you have scheduled or kind of pop in and send them a, a phone call and see if they answer and kind of catch them off guard. What I tend to do is a little bit of both. I will either schedule them or go ahead and, and call the candidate and see if they answer. If they don't answer, I'll go ahead and send them a text message to schedule a time down the road. But again, a phone interview, can, you can identify a lot of information. Have a list of questions ready, really listen and take good notes. Do me a favor, if you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button. Next, bring the candidate in for an in-person interview and shadowing opportunity. Now, when you get to this point, you would think that everybody would show up to an in-person interview and shadow. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. You wanna make sure they showed up, they showed up on time, that they were professional. How do they interact with your team? Assess that, and of course, ask them more questions to learn more about them. Next, call their references. I totally get it. It's a lot of work to track down candidates' references, get them on the phone, ask them questions, but it's really insightful and can really help you find the right person for your business in particular, I like to ask anybody who's a reference, hey, would you hire this person again? Why or why not? It's a very, very excellent question that can get you a lot of information and save you a lot of headaches. Next, conduct a background check and drug test. Background checks and drug tests, well, they're expensive. It's actually an optional step depending on if you wanna do it for everybody that you bring into your small business, but it can be of extreme value depending on the role that person will have in your business. 
Next, hire for personality and drive over background and experience. Most small business positions are trainable. And what I mean by that is not everyone is, and you know if yours isn't. So of course, this step may be one that you're like, hey, I want a good person and I want experience. But in the vast majority of cases, we all want really driven, hardworking, smart, focused, reliable people within our small businesses. Hire for those intangibles, not just somebody's background and experience. Next, hire slow and fire fast. Take your time to find the right people to work in your small business. Have strong onboarding steps in place. But guess what? You're gonna run across people that they made it through the entire interview process and they're just the wrong fit. They've caused drama in your small business or they're toxic or they're lazy or they're just not reliable. And in those cases, you have to let them go as soon as possible. Last, refine your hiring process over time. The hiring market has never been crazier. Things are changing at a rapid pace. You have to improve your hiring process each and every hire to be competitive in the marketplace. But you can do this. I have confidence in you. I have faith in you. Make small little changes and adjustments each and every hire. What steps do you take to hire employees for your small business? Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for my next video where we can reflect and grow stronger together.